It's time to go. Zoo talked about he's coming off obviously two strong games. He talked about the last matchup with the Lakers. He just didn't come out for whatever reason with the kind of the right mindset or the right energy. Kind of what do you expect from him tonight to when you go back against this matchup? Um, <laughs> he, well, he, he definitely has to be better. Uh, we understand that, but to acknowledge that you know um, he didn't play well and you know he didn't have a lot of energy, um, you know that's big. You know, it's big for our team. But to come back and bounce back and play great against Houston, you know, with the way we need him to um, was huge for us as well. So, um, you know, against the Lakers the other night, he wasn't great, but let's put it behind us and let's build up tonight. What about Dwight Howard? Uh, he has um, well, it's been harder because, you know, when you build your offense and your system around two players, which is PG and Kawhi, um, and those two guys are not playing, you know, um, we definitely had to simplify a lot of things and do things a lot different, um, but they they picked it up. And so just run a lot of stuff through Reggie, Marcus, and um, Luke, you know, with that second unit has been good for us. So we've definitely condensed our, you know, our um, offensive package and just trying to get good at things that we know, and they've been doing a good job of executing it. <laughs> no, I think, you know, I got spoiled because, you know, being in Cleveland, you know, we had the same starting lineup for four years. And so you can just continue to keep adding, continue to keep running stuff. And so um, I didn't think about it, you know, as far as just having the same starting five for four years. So it's going to be a lot different. So I just have to be patient and then just have to work on work with who I have on the floor now. And then, you know, if we get guys back, we can start building again. Ty, is one of the goals to hopefully finish in the top six you abort, so you can avoid the playing game or at the very least finish seventh so you can have home court if you're in the playing game? Yeah, I mean, to win, in, win as many games as you can, but to get to six, you know, that would be great. But, you know, Denver's playing good. Um, they have some guys coming back as well. So um, it's going to be a tough task. So we just got to focus on one game at a time. But, you know, if we can't get to the six, like you said, trying to get to that seven is very important so we can have home court in that first game. I think our veteran guys, I think Nico, Reggie, Marcus, um, you know, have done a good job of just, you know, um, making sure our team never gives in. And our young guys, they play hard, compete every single night. And we need that because our older guys are not going to have it every night. But I think it starts with our vets. You know, when we lose PG and Kawhi and now Norm, I think with Marcus, with Nico, um, with Reggie, just setting the tone every single day and understand that we have a chance to win no matter who's on the floor. So it starts with our vets. Hey, Ty, uh, first, everybody's available for tonight. Yes. And then uh, you said last week uh, you were more focused on yourself more than the specific opponent playing the Lakers last uh, last Friday night. Like, just want to know, like, how you kind of approach things differently uh, getting ready for tonight's game? Well, when I said that, it wasn't a shot at the Lakers. It's basically just saying, like, we have time to focus on ourselves because, right. you know, we haven't had a lot of practice time this year. Um, we've had guys in and out, so – we came back from all-star break. We were just focusing on getting better offensively, how to play with our small lineup, and then just getting back to our defensive foundation and just understanding what we're trying to do. So, um, you know, same thing. You know, today we had a good shoot around, was able to focus on the Lakers and um, what they're going to try to do and how they try to attack us last game. And, um, you know, this is a tough team. They got four <laughs> they got four Hall of Famers playing the game tonight. Even though they're struggling, they're going to be able to figure it out. And I have no doubt about that. Um, I've seen Braun in tough situations before, and um, he's always come out on top. So I'm not worrying about that. we got to worry about ourselves and be locked in and start this game because they're going to come out guns and blazing. Uh, Ty, uh, you guys have had success when the Lakers could go to their LeBron and finals, specifically with Isaiah. What about that matchup, Isaiah and LeBron, that has kind of allowed you guys, maybe not exploit it, but like allowed you guys to kind of be positive at those times? I can't remember. Remember? <laughs> I'm sorry, I like you, Justin, but I can't give you too much. <laughs> any any update uh, about 10 days since the last PG update? Any, anything further? No, sir. To what extent can he is he able to do anything on the court? We saw him shooting lefty a few weeks ago, but 
um, on court work. What's where's he at? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling better. He's feeling better. That's the most important thing. So I know it's coming. Come on. All right. How about Paul, how about Norm? He obviously is out on the court. He, he's in he's there. He's feeling better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jason Kawhi, should we go down the list? Feeling better. <laughs> yeah. Um, you mentioned the other day that that, that having adding Roko is like having two Nikos. And Nico was talking about that today and he kind of said the same thing. Um, to it's rare to play with another guy who doesn't care about who wants to do the little things that don't get noticed um, and that he's happy to share that role. So that in itself seems like a little thing that doesn't get noticed, but is important. Yeah, it's very important. I think um, not worrying about shots and worrying about, you know, defensive assignments and he gets a lot of block shots, a lot of deflections, a lot of steals. And so um, for him to come in and just focus on, you know, taking that defensive responsibility is huge for our team, you know? And so um, he has the right mindset every single night. Guys love playing with him. And he comes up for a lot of mistakes that we make on the floor just with his activity defensively. Roko, yeah. Well, we know with Nico, he's been, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 